Good morning! We are at the Bronx Zoo in the Asia parking lot, getting ready to head in for the Boo at the Zoo event today. Um, they run all weekends through October. Um, this is not one of the Halloween night events. This is just going to be a regular zoo day. It's a Saturday. It's already very busy, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to get into everything we want to get into today, but I'm um, going to head in now and, and have some fun. All right. So one of the cool parts about being members here is that you get to have the VIP parking experience, which puts you right in this lot here. It's right outside of Asia. And then once you park your car, you just walk right in. You don't have to go through any kind of ticket booth or kiosk or anything like that. So definitely one of the other perks of being a member on top of the discounts you get on everything else. But this is the first time we've come back since getting our membership. So we'll see how it goes, but we're in the, we're in the zoo now. So let's have some fun today. So we're headed now into Asia to go jump on the monorail first thing. I'm sure there's already gonna be a line for it, but we're right here. So instead of waiting until later, we'll just get it done. Um, I know Kaylee's gonna wanna do the treehouse tour thing at some point. So we'll jump on that as well. But right now we're heading over to Asia. So just walking over, it's me and Ka and Nicholas. Kaylee's doing a bathroom break already. We've been here five minutes. It took a while to get in, but once we got through the uh, gates, this doesn't seem too busy now, but this is a quiet area of the park, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Strolling along the Bronx. Costumes. Um, Kaylee didn't wear hers because we didn't think about it. We're horrible parents. But uh, looks like there's a little bit of a show here at the Asia Theater. I don't know what it is. Let's check it out, though. Completely different species. This scientist Chop and his colleagues they examined 477 different dinosaur fossils to find out the brontosaurus is real. Oh, <laughs> I, I see the apple. Does it fall far from the tree? You like dinosaurs? Of course. Why do you think we called you Marge? <laughs> well, you two have fun at the paleontologist dig. I'm going to find me a bench. <gasps> Betty, is that you? So it's some kind of like a dinosaur paleontology <laughs> dino people. dig show that they're doing. Um, Court just went to go park the stroller so we can go get on the monorail and then probably hit up the Asia pavilion that they have right here, but it doesn't really seem that busy here yet, and I think it might just be because people are in the front part of the zoo. We came in through Asia, so this is technically towards the back of the zoo if you go to the main entrance, so we'll see.
uh, we currently have five trains on that track. train go. Each train is nine you cars come long. In the morning. Each car holds it's ten the first people. thing you do, so come to the monorail and jump on it, because the animals are way more minutes. active, and, and they are generally going to be in the front because they feed them in the morning. Known to reach all so, the way to the camels. if you can, like you can make it over to Asia first thing, do it. It's well worth it. Just walked out of Jungle World. Um, Jaguar was awesome. <laughs> Pacing back and forth. Usually we're here in the afternoon and the animals are usually pretty laid back and just kind of chilling and today they're, they're out and about. Yeah. I don't know if it's the cold weather or if it's the time of day. So um, we're heading back to go get the stroller now and then we're gonna figure out what else is next. Walking out of Asia now. Um, we're gonna make our way back up the stroller trail that'll take us back up into like the Africa area. And then I think we're gonna try to do the little bridge walkway thing that Kaylee was terrified of last time, but she wants to try it again. So we're gonna try it again. We'll see how it goes. If it's because they just have other events going on, but it's not as busy as I expected it to be for a Saturday, so I'm happy. Dressed in their Halloween costume, doing some work. So they have two options. They have the lower route, which is advised for people with young children, recommended ages for three and up. And this is this route here. This is the upper route. Kayla, you're gonna do the lower one today? Yeah. Okay. And there they go, making their way back as Kaylee was out. Thought she was gonna do it this time. I'm gonna keep my way across here. <laughs> Now we're up at the tree house here. As you can see down below me, right behind us is the path we just came up when we uh, when we were coming across. Picking weed, picking weed, Jesus. And here we are, and then Kaylee is gonna be coming out right here. Come on, kid! Ha <laughs> ha, there she is! Let's go, let's go! They definitely have everything decorated cool. They've got a 
little cobwebs here so you can see they're decorating kind of for, for Halloween but they're gonna be doing a wand making thing over by the little pavilion here starting at 1230 and it goes from 1230 until close or until they run out of supplies so um, we're gonna come back because it's about 1210 now we're gonna come back over and do that in a little bit but um yeah I don't know if we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do now I would think we're most likely going to go check out some animals though we're at a zoo So a couple weeks ago, somebody climbed over this fence and was standing um, right on the edge of the moat where the lion cage is. And uh, because of it now, there's a strong police presence here, which I've never seen before. But um, that's what happens when stupid people do stupid things. You ruin it for everybody else, so good job. Outside of the grizzly bear exhibit and there's some kind of a tent set up here. It looks like there's some kind of a stage show or something that they're gonna be doing in there. So we'll go check that out and see what that's all about. Where's the bear? Looking for the bears. So the tent is a magic show, mentalist show. There's a whole activity schedule. There's a mentalist show going on right now, which really isn't too good for kids. There wasn't a single kid in there. Um, but here is the activity schedule for the Boo at the Zoo Spectacular. So I'll get a little bit of a shot at it so you guys can see. Candy Trousy. All kinds of fun stuff. Magic and mind reading. Bootoberfest, Extinct Species Giraffe Graveyard, Giraffe. Costume Party, Parade, Activity Zone, Wildlife Theater, We're gonna We're gonna Candy Trail, Corn Maze, Live Bird Meet and Greet, Skeletons and Bones. Okay. Katie wants to go on the Reptile House. <laughs> Let's go, come on.
reptile house. Katie was really engaged today with finding all the different lizards and reptiles and snakes and stuff that they had in there. Um, she would not quit until she found at least one of everything that was in there. So it was pretty cool engaging with her like that inside of uh, the reptile house today. Usually it's uh, you're in and out in three seconds and that's it. So it was really hot in there though today. So, but oh, keep on moving towards the uh, kid zoo. Change of plans, we're gonna hit up the uh, Dancing Crane Cafe to get some lunch real quick, cause it's one o'clock already and we wanna make sure the kids eat so they don't get cranky, but uh, we're gonna head over to Dancing Crane. If it's super busy, we'll check out and see how busy the, uh, the members lounge is. As we head into the area where the Dancing Crane Cafe is, it is extremely busy here. It is one o'clock, so. Get some lunch. So this is the outdoor seating area. They also have a large indoor eating area as well. Um, there's also pavilions there and one on the other side as well. Inside the Dancing Crane Cafe now, just trying to figure out what we're gonna get. Um, regular food options here that you would expect from any kind of like quick service theme park slash zoo type place. Chicken fingers and French fries, uh, two hot dogs, a single hot dog and fries, uh, double cheeseburger and fries, personal pizza or veggie panini. Um, they also have a selection of salads and pre-made sandwiches. Um, one of the best values you can get here is one of the refillable cups. I think it's $10 for the cup and you can get unlimited refills for the day that you're here. So it's definitely worth the investment because I think a bottle of water is like $3.50 here. So definitely invest in one of the cups if you're going to be coming here for the day. So we just got done finishing lunch inside of the, uh, the membership lounge area. Um, we got a nice little kiosk over here so that you can... <laughs> He's trying to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> they have at least a little, little kiosk over here so you can get stuff like grab and go sandwiches and salads and stuff, coffee, drinks. Um, and then they have uh, soda machines, coffee, and stuff like that as well. So um, just getting finished though, it's definitely a nice little place to kind of calm down and stay quiet. Um, it's a lot busier here today than it was the last time we were here, but it is Saturday and it is the uh, Booth Zoo event. So um, there's also a nice outdoor area that I'll go through in a few minutes just to show you guys that as well. But um, again, another one of the perks of being a member here. So definitely is worth the price. Just leaving the Dancing Crane Cafe. We are now making our way over to the kids zoo um, so the kids can run around for a little bit. Nicholas is still sleeping, but Kaylee's gonna have some fun. So making our way over there and then Kaylee wants dipping Dots. <sighs>
is the hand washing station at the end of the kids area. They got uh, antibacterial soap, these cool troughs with water. And then uh, electric hand dryers right here, so. It'd be kind of gross in here. But uh, right now, now, what are we gonna do next? Gorillas or tigers? We're heading now. Court doesn't care. Shocker. So we're walking out of the store now and um, we're gonna go see the gorillas because that's what the princess wants to do. And you know, if she's interested, we're gonna go do it. So somehow we just got sidetracked and now we have to go into the big store. The kid didn't ask to do it. The kid didn't say let's go in the big store. Mom did. Just for the record. Disappointed, Court. Disappointed. Just walked out of the uh, store, the main store here at the uh, Dancing Crane Cafe, and now they are doing a pumpkin carving exhibit right here by Master Pumpkin Carvers. What kind of education do you think you need to be a master pumpkin carver? Life ambitions. So we had a little change of plans and now we're in the butterfly garden, which is doubling as a corn maze right now for the Boo at the Zoo event. So we're wandering through this labyrinth of trees. Maybe we'll see some butterflies and some corn. That's a whole lot of butterflies. I don't know if we're done now. We just went through some butterfly greenhouse thing and now we're walking out. I don't know if this is going to take us into a corn maze or if we're just wandering out now and we just got tricked into thinking that we were going to a corn maze, but instead we were going to a butterfly exhibit. The butterflies. I think we just got duped. Are you gonna have a corn maze on your corn maze tour? All right, so we went to the wrong place. We found the corn maze now. We're going in. I really hope this doesn't turn into like an hour long ordeal, but let's give it a shot. Hi, big boy. This is a... Uh... A little tight, a little tight. What? <laughs> Not much of a corn maze, more of a uh, tarp maze with corn attached to it, but I think we're trying to make our way through here. We made it already? Yeah. We did it? Yeah. We survived! So I really do feel like we've been trying to get to the gorillas for the last like hour and a half and we just keep getting sidetracked. It's still fun, we're doing fun stuff. That corn maze was a bit lame though. And now we're uh, on our way to the gorillas. <laughs> Hopefully we'll make it, unless we get sidetracked again. We finally made it. We're in the gorilla exhibit. The Congo. Yeah, Nick, tell him. <laughs> this is probably the coolest exhibit they have here, so. Finally made it.
super fun trip to the zoo. My camera died just as we walked into the gorilla exhibit. So everything else you're gonna see is gonna be from cell phone cameras. Hold on, Kim, please, please. But at least I know now, next time to bring three core batteries with me. All right, we're leaving, we're going home. Done, son.